Dear soul, thank you for being here. You are listening to Power Thoughts Meditation Club. We appreciate that you are taking your time to be here with us now. During this session, you can choose to relax. You know, you can lean back, close your eyes, and just allow the affirmations to wash over you. Or you can choose to do chores, work out, go for a walk, and still just allow the affirmations to wash over you. You don't need to repeat them. This is about your subconscious mind absorbing them, integrating them. With the subconscious mind, it's all about repetition. With repetition, things change. And from my higher self to your higher self, I ask that our time together is of the highest value, quality time, with the intention to empower you, uplift you, and to take you to a new level of beingness. It is time. Now, we begin. I am strengthening myself day by day. My mind strengthens. My body powering up. My heart balanced. My spirit soaring. I choose to be independent and self-reliant. Being independent and capable doesn't mean that I have to do everything myself. I seek out quality support if needed. I surround myself with high standard people. I am self-assured. I am bathing in the river of peace. I am grounded in calm inner strength. No matter where I am, who I am with, or what is happening in my life, I am calm, balanced, and strong. With the authority as spirit embodied, I command ownership of all that I am. I embrace self-responsibility. I step boldly and gracefully into self-leadership. I activate from within the courage to stand on my own two feet right now, grounded like the Himalaya mountains. I am proactive, 10 steps ahead of any challenge. When challenges come, I am mentally, emotionally, physically and energetically prepared. If I stumble, I choose to learn, grow and bounce back. I am calm, balanced and resilient. I can laugh at challenges. My mind tends to make them bigger than they are. From now on, I make myself larger and more powerful than any challenge. I am a freight train. I don't stop just because something is blocking my path. I plow through it if I have to, or I switch tracks and find a way around. I hone my reasoning skills, my discernment and intuition, enhancing the ability to connect dots, to foresee potential blocks way before they show up. I am prepared, calm, connected to my inner divine self. 
I am a creator of solutions. I take action. I am calm and assertive. In the face of any challenge, I activate my inner resources of creativity, courage, and optimism. I value myself. I respect who I am. I choose to be resilient, strong, capable, and I strengthen these qualities by living authentically. I am finding it surprisingly fun to be independent. I am the owner of me. I own my mind. I own my body. I own my choices and actions. I own my soul. I am responsible for me. I am responsible for me. I am taking back my power now by reclaiming responsibility for myself, how I think, act, speak, behave, and move through this world. Stepping fully into self-responsibility. I choose to be at peace with myself. I deserve to be at peace. I am infused with calm assertiveness, quiet confidence, and balanced strength. I create solutions. I alchemize challenges into opportunities. I am resilient as fuck. Oops, did I say that? Yeah, I did. What others think of me is not my business. I am born to express my true self. I choose to respect myself. That's why I am setting healthy boundaries. I choose to learn how to set healthy and conscious boundaries. I am simply not interested in people placing out of fear. It is a waste of my precious time and energy. I got better things to do than running on that hamster wheel. I was not born to be someone else. I am here to be me. Everyone else is taken. Why imitate when I am an original, organic being? Of source. I am devoted to living in integrity with my highest values, standards, and principles. With my mind, body, heart, and spirit. I am showing myself tough love when needed. I show others tough love. When needed, and it is needed, I make wise decisions. I listen to the wisdom within. 
I am the one responsible for my evolution. The more I neutralize my triggers and deprogram from beliefs based on falsity, the more capable I become in making the right decisions. I always ask questions because I seek the unfiltered truth of the matter. Even if the objective truth can be uncomfortable, it is better than living in the dark, convinced that I am basking in the light. My bones are made of strength and courage. My heart is forged in the flames of love, peace and freedom. My voice is the instrument of the creational fire of my spirit. My energy is here for a purpose. My soul is here for a purpose. And I am here to live that purpose. It is time for me to draw the line. What others think I should do or shouldn't do? Well, that is not my business. My business is to know what I want, make a plan on how to achieve it, and then stick to that plan like an eternal flame burning fiercely in the midst of all storms. I am prioritizing my self-esteem. I build it, strengthen it, and nurture it. The more independent I am, the more free and secure I am. When people around me and society as a whole is acting the same way, walking the same path, making the same decisions on certain things, that does not automatically mean that that is the right thing for me. This is where I have to choose to be vigilant, aware and grounded in the confidence and strength to stand on my own two feet. And this is when I activate the courage to walk in the opposite direction if needed. Walking in the opposite direction might not seem like the right thing for others, but it is not their choice to make. I am the owner of me. I make my own decisions. I am self-assured in thought and action. I am, I am comfortable being independent. I choose to safely and courageously detach from the need to be liked. I accept that I cannot please everybody. And it is not my responsibility either. I cannot control others. I refuse to spend my time chasing others' approval. I am genuine and authentic, and that is naturally pleasing. I choose to be comfortable walking my own path. I approve of me. I open up for loving, authentic, and deep connections with souls that I resonate with. I approve of me. 
I am effectively making decisions. And if something doesn't turn out like planned, I course correct. If I am blocking myself, I work on myself. The quicker I take care of challenges, the more empowered and at peace I am. I choose to turn any challenge into an opportunity for learning. If I stumble, I choose to learn, grow, and bounce back. I am fortifying my resourcefulness. Resilience is my middle name. I am stepping up, showing up, and speaking up right now. I am building self-trust, building it as a strong and unwavering foundation of my authentic self, brick by brick, layer by layer, day by day. I choose to live with integrity, awareness, and self-respect. But even then, not everyone will be pleased. So what? So what? I choose to stop imitating and regurgitating behaviors and opinions of others. Now, with my mind, body, heart and spirit, I can come to my own conclusions. I intend to do what it takes to set healthy, empowering boundaries. I choose to be comfortable being alone at times. Being alone gives me an opportunity to know myself on a deeper level. I can enjoy that time alone. Time alone is healthy and empowering. My energy needs time alone to reset and recharge. Choosing myself is healthy. Choosing myself is loving kindness. It is my responsibility to honor my uniqueness, to powerfully show up for myself and others, serving organic life in the process. I am sovereign. I am free. I am one with life and I start acting like the powerful soul that I am. Fiercely and lovingly, I am plowing through the fields of resistance, illusions and limitations with a smile in my heart and fire in my spirit. I choose to show up and speak up with honesty, assertiveness, and courage. It is my birthright to be free. I choose to create my life through my higher heart and higher mind. I am not here to play small, therefore I stop acting small. It is time to evolve from all of that. Why? Because I can. That's why.
I choose to be sustained by the divine love, power, and wisdom of my original source consecration. I am sovereign. I am free. Alright, so we have come to the end of this session, and I hope it was worth your time. I mean, your time and your attention, that's your soul's currency. So remember to invest it wisely, right? It is your life force. If you want these affirmations and statements to really blossom in your life, by taking action on the affirmations that stand out for you, then you will integrate it as a natural part of you embodying the affirmation, embodying the statements. So it's, it's good to listen to them, you know, it can feel good and can feel empowering. We can get motivated, inspired. The next step is to actually take action on them, to, you know, to implement them into your behavioral patterns, your choices and your actions. It's a journey. Shine strong, dear soul. You got this.